love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, just thank you so much for the support you've been giving me. I've seen a lot of my videos being shared lately, so I greatly appreciate it. And, you know, I'm sending out those loving blessings as you do the same for me. So as that being said, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video and if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or you know it just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with somebody who's truly going through something right now please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and as always thank you so much for stopping by the channel and giving me love and support and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video y'all my, my third eye is like really acting up i had to stop this like twice because i forgot the words because it was like cracking at the same time and i feel it i had to take me some uh, time time and off from my um headache because it's really it's like when that third eye opens up it, it it gets really crazy for me and it's like I don't know if it's just this uh meditation I'm doing because you know a lot of meditations will do it will open up your your third eye but if it does happen you start getting a little headache right here because I felt something cracking in the middle um it's called 432 hertz cosmic water energy music manifest positive outcomes and happiness you know we all need that in our lives we've gone through so much right now so i'm you know i'm sending that vibe out to y'all you know and then you know it's gonna be okay we all going through something but we gotta go through it to get to it but today uh my video is about uh taking charge of your destiny uh that you that you truly deserve yes it's just like so many things um that we have gone through and that we're going through at this time you know there's with the spiritual awakening the ascension and um just just going through stuff you know you're probably going through a car car uh karmic cycle right now of you know things are going through our lives you know downloads are coming in like crazy some things we can't handle some things are kind of confusing it can be downright scary but they're happening for a reason you know there there's it's like the universe and you know source and uh spirit guides are all just manifesting these things or we're manifesting them as well of getting towards our destiny our true life purpose you know our soul purpose and we're going through all these things for a reason you know and it could be really irritating at times that's why i was just like i said when i saw this um uh, meditation I was like you know what I feel so many people's energy even when I'm making my videos before y'all come watch it I feel y'all's energy and it's like it can be a blessing and a curse sometimes because some you know you don't want to feel in everybody's energy like that because it's like it can be really confusing because we're all going through stuff at one time and you know it's just like the people that I'm connected with like on, on messenger and stuff like that I always send them um, especially if I see something that gets me really calm or lifts my spirits up, you know, I always share that because it's just like, you never know what somebody's going through. So it's just like a blessing for me to be able to do that because I've been so busy, like doing one-on-ones. I love doing one-on-ones and, you know, even doing it on here too. But, you know, a lot of people don't want to put their business out like that and they trust me with their, you know, their confidentiality and I leave it like that. And I tell them sometimes they're like, Hey, you know, this was a blessing for me to be able to help people. You. I said, I'm not going to say what your situation is or who I'm talking about, um, but it made me have a content for something. I tell them that all the time. And it's just like when we're going through stuff, it can be really like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know, you know, I don't know how I should feel about this or, you know, what are they trying to tell me? And sometimes you got to sit with yourself, close everything off and see what, you know, source is trying to tell you, see what the powers that be is trying to tell you. And it's like, you know, you deserve this, but sometimes we have been through so many 
abusive situations that we feel like we're not worthy of the things that are gifted to us the things that we're blessed with and it's just like if they didn't feel like you deserve these things i mean i even get like that sometimes i ain't gonna lie i mean there's times i look at my situation and, and it feels so surreal to me i'm like are you serious this is going on but then there's times i sat here and cried because when i was like 15 or 16 years old i used to dream about stuff like this and it didn't make sense to me like i would see myself in a in a corner just crying asking god why did this have to happen to me why are these people that these so-called love me doing it doing me this way and I never understood that but it was basically preparing me for the life I was gonna have to go through and it's just like when I sit up here and see myself going through things I go through there's times I get pissed I ain't gonna lie there's times I get mad as hell like you know I'm doing so many positive things why am I in a situation where I should be in a better situation but I wasn't looking at it you know I wasn't stepping back and looking at the bigger picture like you you know there are so many people that you know like i can relate to that that um they do motivational speaking um they do videos like on youtube they do videos on facebook especially that guy named jay he's this beautiful indian monk he used to be a, a indian monk and he has these eyes that are just you know it just sticks out and i'm like oh my gosh and it was like i love the things that he says because he's right on point about things that people are going through and he you know he loves the video he loves the things that he do and that's the same way i am and i can look at them as mentors like you know y'all the reason why i did start doing videos like this or basically they converted me into doing that because i was like oh wow you know i like what they do but i thought i was going to have to go through all these you know phds and masters and stuff like that i said no i'm just going in hard knock life <laughs> that's why i'm going off of my degree off the hard knock life and i have to go through all that you know all through that education or whatever but it's a blessing when you can have all those things behind your belt but I'm also feeling blessed and humbled for the things I have behind my belt as well it took me to have to go get knocked down go through all these things something that I wouldn't wish on nobody because when people actually sit down and know my whole life story and they're just like oh my god you really I mean I've caught people crying or they were pissed after they heard the things that I went through you know but I said you know it yeah it was a uh a hard card to be dealt but I can when I look at look back and I see how many people that my videos have helped you know help them heal on a lot of things to let them know we can go we can lose children I've lost a set of twins before I've lost another son um a while back and it is just like it's a hurtful feeling you know when you have to bury your child or you have to you end up miscarrying or whatever and you go through situations like that and you actually hear people that go through situations like that no nobody wants to go through stuff like that and it's just like I've lost so much you know I've lost family members you know I lost brothers uh, my dad grandparents I didn't even get a chance to meet you know and it's just like I know they're always around me I can feel them at times and it's just like it's a blessing to go through but it's like we have to go we have to lose a lot just to win just to win and it's just like this is my destiny this is my life purpose to help other empaths that are going through things like this try to make sense of our crazy lives because there's sometimes people ask me something I'm like damn how am I gonna answer this and it's just like I'll just go to source and ask them well, how you want me to answer this and I, I it take me a minute before I answer I'm like hold on you know and I have to you know I have to go dig in my index book like what am I gonna say and then it's just like we go through situations it's like think about when you went through something like that I'm like oh okay well then I can go ahead and tell them that you know and then go back and they're like oh Rosalind you know I made so much sense to this thank you I'm just like okay because I didn't know how I was going to be able to answer this you know especially if they you know they dic dictated a certain way or you know they're going towards a situation because I'm very I try to be very careful about what I say to people because you don't know how they might take it it's not like I'm saying they'll take offense of it or anything like that but it could be very detrimental to them so I want to make sure I explain this to them you know so they can get that peace and understanding in their life and that's what we all should do so don't ever feel like when you are blessed with something you don't ever feel like you're not worthy of it this is your destiny you are very worthy of it you have went through hell and high water to get it don't ever sell yourself short when god blesses you with a big blessing like that you keep it moving and know you that a strong soldier that they put up on this war so you gotta remember that god picks it hand picks the strongest soldiers to go through the worst stuff remember that
you are worthy. So I hope you're able to, you know, to resonate with the content of my video. Much love to everybody. I'm going to give a shout out to um, Catalyst T.I., Karen, um, uh, Hafi Harris, and Mr. Robo Pig Nipples. <laughs> I don't know where y'all be getting these names from, but much love to you, many blessings, and you know, like and subscribe, thumbs up, share, and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to hear from you. So know you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace.